everybody how's it going welcome back to Nazmanian Gamer and we're back for another Mafia Definitive Edition video this is now our episode 4 so let's go also by the way thank you for all the support that you've given me I truly appreciate it so as always you know if you like it leave a thumbs up share Facebook page and maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel okay let's continue the story shall we Intermezzo, 1938. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dummy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your blind bars, and tell you all in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get re-elected, hoping he'd go after the Don. I recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need it and catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year, until Frank, Coletti, uh, Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we got to do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show, or invest it for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful skinny Tirneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but... I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat, and everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy. 
You could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. A trip to the country in 1933. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Okay, I gotta say, did you just see that cinematics in the car? Man, the graphics is amazing. It looks like you a know, movie. It's a good to see a smile back on Sarah's face. I've said this before. Oh my god, this this is this is really well done in the quality of and the graphics department. The lighting, though, it's the lighting that gives it, you know, that realistic feel and looks. It's amazing. Remember a night like this? Yeah, I'm sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, he got called out the way. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie to meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. Okay, so Canadians are involved. <laughs> this mama motor is yours if you want it, Tommy. Thanks, Ralph. Working late, Ralphie? I says his sleep when f -f Frank sleeps. Man, he's been w working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ralph. Bulls wreck, it's where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars that time. I, I changed the p -p plates again. You can't be too careful. See you in the morning. Okay. Seems like the old dude has, uh, you know, agenda for himself, or maybe not. I don't know. Seems to be, you know, the right hand of the dawn.
Not the fastest car I see. Accident or something? Certainly, it doesn't seem like it would be anything like the big one of my days. I worry that pushing the storm over us is quite a race. We will, of course, keep you informed with news on the hour. But before I return you to our musical programming, let me reiterate that the Ross Devon Police Department strongly advises against motor travel at this time. And on a personal note, I advise staying with your family, friends, or loved ones and waiting out this dreadful storm for the warmth of the home. That's all for now. Some music will be along shortly, and I'll be back to check in with you later. Thank you for listening. So I can't play the music. Something to do with uh, copyright stuff. Now this is a long drive, really long drive. And what makes it feel even longer is because you're driving a very slow car. Oh, we're here. Come on, Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out. Sorry. You know this place? Uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks. We'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. 
believed he was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Okay. Looks like we're gonna be ambushed. I have a feeling we're gonna get ambushed. We got a proper mafia coat. Very nice. Crap. Let's check this cabin first. What I don't like about the mechanic is when you press the the walk toggle and then you stop walking and then you start walking again it's gonna return to running. It's kind of annoying. The guy we pay to keep this place in check then we pretend to find out. Ooh Lightning strikes. The place is derelict. Carl of Falcon. Sounds like a uh oh, there's a vehicle out there. I have a bad feeling about this. Check out the other places. Oh, looks like there's nothing. Where's the guy? Hey, buddy. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got a pin down! You want it the hard way, do you? Oh crap.
Äh, wo, wo, wo ist ihr? Wo, wo ist ihr? Äh, oh crap. Äh, uh, Tab, no. Äh, uh, Three, two, five, six, what was that? Y, H, R. What was the grenade again? <laughs> Let me just double check that. Let's forget the grenade. Grenade, grenade. Uh, Greg, I thought it was G. M equipment. Mm, yeah, it was G. Equipment is grenade. If I'm not mistaken. Hold bread. Ah, I didn't know that. How much gold do you have right here? Oh, 17? No, not, not good, not good. Wow! Me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. The cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. It must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Okay, we're out to find These Sam. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the border patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. They've lost having PD look like pussy cats. Should be in a warehouse. Or barn. I always say barn. This huge barn. Sam! Sam! Where the hell are you? You want to quiet down, Wally? There must be something here. Tommy! You don't want to see this! Jesus. Crap. Looks like we found the Canadians. You see Sam in there? No. <sighs> Poor bastards. Tremblay, Bottler, Winnipeg from Winnipeg. He's one of the Francophones, maybe. Actually reminds me of uh has the same feel as Red Dead, except it's more limited. Yeah, similar to this. I'm just playing Red Dead though. I kind of want to play Red Dead again, but without having to go straight to just story, and you know, just to all of them, pretty much.
first triple clues. Serious trouble, huh? I need some uh, these. I need these. So here is whiskey on memories tonight. Oh, George, who's George? Shotgun. Shotgun all the way. Oh, swarm of these. Oh, he's getting shot. Setting their ass on what? Watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Can you walk? 
No, no, don't take it, sir. Okay, 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 just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you gonna make it, Sam? Tommy, mm. you stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. Hey, hey, it'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. You sure? You sure we have? Where'd all these guys come from? Over here! Take them down, Tom! Thank Christ, you came from the dead. Gotta reload! Gotcha! Come on, Tom, finish him! Check him out over here! Oh crap! No 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 Ah, oh, this. Oh crap! No, Sam was killed. No, I gotta protect Sam though. My bad. Where did all these guys come from? What? There's one on there? You kidding me? I thought I had Molotov. Just a little longer. I'm a six stuck here. Get a better shot. Go. You're in my sights. They're coming up the stairs. Molotov. Oh man! Man, 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 I need to find a better position, shooting position. I was actually late um, to check out the car. Oh, my God. 
Christ, you came when you're dead. No, you don't. Okay, now we're being chased by an armored vehicle. Always take the driver first. like a movie car chase he's so good
Oh, I get infinite ammo, huh? I'm gonna be trigger happy then. Truck was destroyed, damn. Okay. Said so shoot the gun. doing here so late? Uh, uh, even Doc, sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. 
caught a knife. No, I'll wait. <laughs> Doc's already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Doc. We'll be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. Okay, so the car that I used to go there is back here. Uh, oh, and it's... Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're almost here at the uh, apartment. Here we 
go. Well, that's not the brightest proposal. <laughs> Anyways, that was a long chapter. We're going to end the video here. It's almost one hour. I'm going to keep it uh, around about an hour or less for every um, episode. So, yeah, I'm going to see you guys again in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching as usual. Any support, all kind of support is appreciated. So, yeah, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>